What up, my shinies? What up, my shinies? What up, my shinies? What up, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Shiny is back with another video. Anywho, anyhow, I am from the 414 area. If you don't know, that is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Praise the Lord, everybody. I am proud to be a Milwaukeean. Y'all, I got some news to tell y'all. I have just set up here for 30 minutes. I ate pizza. And I am so upset because the video did not record. Anywho, any of Christine is a lie. The devil is a lie. His imps and his foes, and they can carry themselves on to the next person, okay? Because they're not wanted in here. I'm so, I guess I'm going to do a not a live video, but welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button so every time your girl go live, you will know. But anywho, anyhow, today, today, I'm going to be drinking um some chai tea. Chai tea, y'all, it is the bomb, I think. I mentioned it before, the bomb. Okay, absolutely, yummy, 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 yummy. And then I'm going to be eating, um, I love these, y'all. These are from Walmart. They had a little miniature um, pecan pie. I started one, but I'm just going to have a little tea talk with y'all. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, y'all know what you see is what you get over here. And, uh, I'm sorry. What you see is what you get over here. And basically, we, I, hey, it's what you see is what you get. And so, anywho, anyhow, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channels. Come on back, my oldies and goodies. Y'all know what we do. We um, come on back to the channel. And then we tell a friend. We tell a neighbor. We tell somebody. We tell anybody. We tell everybody. We tell our enemies. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. And so if you like the video, please don't forget to give me that thumbs up and share and like. Um, anywho, I said it. I know I did, but I'm going to say it again. Anyways, and so, y'all, I made the video with pizza. It was pizza. It was with four big slices of pizza. And it was with french fries. And so, y'all... I'm so hurt, but I'm going to give y'all a bite. I had so good, y'all, but I'm going to make a video, and the devil is a lie. Cheers. Clink, 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 clink. I'm just saying, he's, he don't get no glory over here. He don't get the victory, because <clears throat> God do. Um, why you say that? Because God do. Honey, you got to mark your territory. You got to mark your territory. So I'm going to talk spiritual, baby, because that's what I do. This 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 channel is about real issues, real life, facts, not opinion. But opinion belongs to who? You. All right, y'all. Get it. Catch on. All um, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers, y'all. I got new subscribers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got a couple new people. I am honored. So y'all welcome. It's my shinies. And um for now, the names I give y'all is my shiny poos and my oldies but goodies. Why you say oldies but goodies? Cause it is oldies and y'all goodies. <laughs> anywho, anyhow. And um I was saying on the video, y'all. I was telling the testimony about um, what's been going on, y'all. I have been, um, it's all kind of stuff that's been happening. And um, we got beautiful weather up here in Milwaukee. How is the weather down there with you guys? Um, please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I promise y'all I'll respond back. Um, everybody that has, um, to my new um, in-commerce, I'm telling you, my new um, subbies, they've been rocking, honey. They've been leaving comments and that's what it's all about. Supporting one another. Y'all. Um, I'm sorry. I'm impressed to say. Say this. I may get shot at. In comments with this video. But I'm going to tell the truth. And um, this is a Christian based channel. But I'm going to tell the truth. I feel like, I just been thinking, me and my daughter was thinking, and um, I prayed over my channel, and I just believe that whoever um, see this, when they do see it, it is meant for them to see it. I just want, I feel impressed to encourage all the new YouTubers sometimes looking at 
the numbers and the views and the ratings you look, it will discourage you. But guess what? You can't throw in a towel because when you signed up for it, you know, you're going to get trolls. You're going to get trolls on your page. You're going to be talked about. You're going to see some duplications of what you do. Sometimes, you know, people think because you're the smaller man, don't feel like that, y'all. We got our time coming. So uh, me and my daughter were sitting down and we were thinking and we were talking. And I told my daughter, I said, if you got 20 subscribers, right, on your page. And each one subscribe to each other's page. That's how you build your channel. And some people may feel like that ain't how it works. Yes, it does. That's all fairness. Some new YouTubers, and I thank God, because the Bible said you have not because you ask not. And um, I'm going to give you all for an example. I was on the marketplace on Facebook, and I purchased um, a tripod. And... Um, how to gain subscribers. And um, I bought the tripod from this lady. And she was like, um, enjoy. I said, yeah. So if, I said, if you have time, check me out. I'm talking with Shani on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a, um, I'm a beginner YouTuber. She said, oh, okay. Instant subscribed. I'm just saying, y'all, don't give up. If we got our time. Everything has a moment and a time and a season. You know, but I'm just saying for us that's out here, especially Milwaukee. Milwaukee is is big enough. It's because it's enough out here that everybody. I don't understand. Like you know, sometimes God been dealing with me about jealousy. And y'all, I don't know why that video didn't pop up or come on because I was gonna put it out here tonight. But God knows, and maybe this is what He wanted me to talk about, just to encourage. Because I love to encourage and motivate His people. And I just feel. We as new YouTuber, it may feel like, man, don't let the devil make you feel like you're not popular. Populate it. Don't do that to yourself. Think of what you want to do on your channel, how you want your channel to be. Focus on you, 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 and nobody else. You can get some ideas, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not original... And you mocking, I can't do it. Nope. And so I want to encourage y'all. If you subscribe to my channel, I'm, I'm, I'm going to subscribe back to you. That's just what I do. But you might see some people, you subscribe to their channel, and you see that they're not subscribed <clears throat> to you, that's on them. But out of all fairness and respect to me, I feel that, and I see your name, and you say, I subscribe to you, sis. <clears throat> and I know you're a YouTuber, <clears throat> which I have done. Four or five new subscribers, automatically, I subscribe to their channel. Period. Some, you don't even have to ask. You shouldn't. You To me, you really shouldn't. And this ain't no shade, no tea, no shade to nobody. I'm just saying, me, myself, and I... I feel automatically that's out of all fairness. That's how a channel, this is just giving suggestions and ideas out there for those that don't know. Y'all need to take the time to look at your replies and your comments. Because I know when I did a little research on YouTube, that's the first thing that they said, how you gain people is looking at and, and, and responding back. I don't never want to get too big that I can't respond back to nobody. That ain't my role. That ain't what I want. I don't want it. And I, I, you know, sometimes it may be where I'm not on there and I miss it. But baby, if I am, I, I do apologize. But I want you guys to know, I see every last one of y'all comments. I'm grateful and thankful for the little subscribers, the 46, 49, 50, 46, that 45 that I have. I am grateful. And I know God has more subbies to come. Amen. And so I see it and I believe it. And I'm just going to wait patiently. 
a lot of us don't want to wait patiently, but I just feel impressed in my spirit because I wasn't going to talk about this, but I feel impressed in my spirit. I just want to encourage my brothers and sisters. If you are new to YouTube and you're trying to grow your channel, there's ways to grow your channel. We have to put in the work. We have to do the research. Okay. I'm, I do a little research, but y'all mentally, I needed a break because what was going on over in my personal life. I'm telling y'all, I mean, I'd spend some money and do some things and I'm still cleaning some things up because my wa hot water heater, y'all, I was trying to say that on a video before. Um, shout out charity goes to my brother. Um, charity, um, shout out goes to two people today. Yes, I do honor and I do believe that, okay? I don't have to be an important big person to give a shout out. I just believe what the Bible says. The Bible said, give honor where honor is due. And I believe in giving people their flowers while they live. Y'all know our big mom said us that, told us that. I believe in honoring people while they live. I believe in letting people know. Because you just never know what type of day that person is going through. And when you tell them, you know, <clears throat> you can make it. I love you. You don't know that can help. That goes a long way, y'all, for real. Clink, 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 clink. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Real issues, real life, facts, not opinions. But opinions belongs to y'all. Praise and testimony over here. This is a religious channel for you guys that don't know. This is a religious channel that you might, honey, you might hear the tongues prophecy. I love giving honor to the Lord because if it wasn't for the Lord, that song said, where would I be? Tell me where would I be if it wasn't for the Lord? On our side, tell me where. Would I be? Where would I be? Hey, glory be to God. Ha! Yes, honey. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, honey. When you think about where God has brought you from, where he's going to take you, you be like, man. That song says, look where he brought me from. Look where the Lord brought me from. Look where he brought me from. And they say, he, he brought me from a mighty long way. Yes, honey. Y'all just don't know my story. Ah. Honey, he brought me. Yes, he brought me. Yes. From a mighty long way. Y'all see that scar? Yes, sir. No, I didn't get cut, honey, with a knife. I got cut, uh, on a, uh, honey, that's an incision from a surgery. Yes, yes. And I'll give for that. I always give them praise and give them thanks. Nobody would ever, da, 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 ever shut my mouth. Mm -mm. I told y'all, Christine, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, I was talking to Aiden and honey, I mean, I did a 30 minute, 20 minute video. It didn't record. That's okay, but the blood of Jesus still works, honey. It still applies. So all we got to do is use it. Use the knowledge. Use the word. Anywho, anyhow, and um, today's shout out, charity shout out goes to my brother, Pretro. The charity that work that he does, the things that he does for people, honey, I can't thank, I can't thank him enough. My brother came on the scene, baby, when the water heater, my daughter was stuck here and my daughter was here at home and she said she heard a loud noise down the basement. My water heater, the water um, valve at the bottom, honey, that thing blew up and I mean all kind of just nasty stuff was all over my walls. I thought somebody diarrhea, okay? It looked like diarrhea, but it wasn't diarrhea. It was like corrosion and I mean... um the slime, the build up mineral. I don't know what that stuff was. Whatever it was, but it just nasty looking, okay? Honey, it was all over my wall. My cute computer got messed up. Water was just flooding when I got in the house. I told my daughter, get out, get out, get out, get out. When I got the phone call, baby, my brother was right behind me. My brother got here five minutes after I had got here. I just, that's why I gave honor. Amen. The Bible said, get honor while they live. Give honor where honor is due. So I'm giving honor on tonight. Acknowledgement on tonight. Don't be afraid to do that. Honey, I like to be different. I want to be like me. I want to be like me. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nothing, saying nothing wrong with nobody else. But I want to be like myself. And I love myself. 
okay? But anywho, anyhow, and another shout out, charity shout out goes to my father. Why you say that, Willis? Hold up, I'm about to tell y'all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My father um, donated. They got me spoiled over here, y'all. They know I ain't got a husband, and they know I try so hard, and they know I do everything else. But, honey, when it comes to that plumbing stuff, I ain't doing that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just saying. But, anywho, go get y'all a deacon. Go get y'all a, a brother like that, okay? And I hope if you don't, I hope God give you somebody, amen, favor with somebody. Because I always say that prayer, y'all. Always, add, when I first bought this house, because, you know, they always say if you, if you touch it, because when you buy your own house, if you living in the landlord, you don't you touch it, you don't I mean you touch it, you break it, you fix it. So my daddy, on other hands, I every little thing I try to be remindful of, oh I don't want to touch this because I ain't got the money to fix it. Okay, so I don't have a landlord. Okay? But my daddy and my brother came through for me. And so tonight I give honor and charity. Amen. Because people need to know they are wanted. They need to know they love. And they definitely need to know they appreciate it. Because I've worked on some jobs. And baby, people get your acknowledgement. They don't acknowledge you. And then the other person want to take discredit you to get the credit to discount you. But I want y'all to know out there on YouTube and all over the world on tonight. You're never discounted. And they can never count you out because they tried to count Jesus out. The devil can't count nothing out that God has his hand out. Hey, he cannot count you out what God has his hand on you. Say what you mean, Willis. I'm about to tell you what I mean. Y'all can thank me later. Just thank me later. Because a thousand hills, honey, a, a thousand cattle on the hill belongs to Christ. Believe that. Everything in the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to God. I don't care who you are, how you try to work it up, whatever magic you throw. Baby, God is here. He is ruler. Believe that. I'm just saying. Trust that, take that to the bank. You can never go wrong with Christ. Never. You can never go wrong. All we got to do, a lot of times we don't have it because we don't ask. He said, ask and you shall receive. Knock. And the door shall be open. Seek me. And you shall find. Put yourself in them positions. That's all. Just ask. Just a little mustard seed of faith. That's all we need. It's just a little bit. Clink, 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 clink. I'll get a clink on that. For real. I like being you. Y'all, I love y'all. Y'all, y'all know I love glasses. And all of my videos, y'all know I have glasses. I love me some glasses. So if y'all want to send me something, amen. Um, in, inbox me at shiny04 at gmail.com and I'll give y'all the address where to send it to, honey. Honey, I was sported. I ain't got to be big to tell off to who gave it to me, honey. Somebody's supposed to be sending me something right now. I love me some glasses. And nope, they don't have lenses in them. I, that, that's why I like being unique. You know? But think, the word on tonight is think before you react. Y'all, I didn't know what to do when that water came in, but I had a warning, y'all. And that's what I want to talk to y'all about, too. We have warnings. God always, he, he, he said, warning come before destruction. God always give you a warning before something happens. No, he don't. Yes, he do. Do you pay attention? Do you take heed to the warning? Because, see, that's what a warning is. Tip number one, a warning is for you to pay attention to it. Not to ignore the warning sign. Pay, take heed to it. I had a warning, y'all. When my daughter called me and told me she heard a loud explosion, I ran home. I was praying that I get through every light I did, y'all. And when I got here, all that water was just all over the place. And I got there just in time. And, and, and I mean, like I said, there was so much stuff everywhere, y'all. I'm still cleaning up. And that's why your girl, I ain't made a video. It's the videos that you guys are seeing. It's the videos that was in my chamber and I ran out. But I'm just saying, but I need a break. I'm going to do videos like two times out of a week, two or three. Because I work full time. I got other business on the side. I'm telling y'all, I'm a busy woman, but I ain't too busy not for my shiny poos. And not to give a word of wisdom, not to uplift and strengthen and motivate, honey. That's I always got a word on my mouth. Always want to have a word on my mouth. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. But again, this is Talking With Shiny. If you like what you see, please don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time your girl go live, you will see and you will know it. That's all I'm talking about. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's all. Like, share, subscribe. Go tell your friend. Go tell your neighbor. Go tell your grandma. Go tell somebody. Go tell anybody. Go tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? 
but anywho anyhow and um so and again i know another shout out i'm sorry y'all i can't forget the man who fixed it thank god um another shout out charity shout out goes to martin martin because truly that man stopped doing what he was doing and i mean they was over here like that usually when i call them do something else baby they take like that urgency that's how god will do come to urgency situation that's why i said testimony god get the glory on this channel not me because flesh didn't do it i can't do it you know that's why we got to take heed i had the warning y'all take heed to your warning do something about it because i was finna that morning finna call somebody but i didn't and look what happened Thank God that when I did go down there and start cleaning up and acted, responded right away, acted right away, and baby, I saved, my monitor was, it was able to be saved. The computer, it was all wet, but baby, I dried that stuff, girl, I let that stuff, boys and girls, women and men, I let that stuff dry out, I'm telling y'all, but God did it. I was on my computer again today, and I went back down there because I can't stand no dirty, mm -mm. no sir. No, ma'am. No, sir. Can't stand dirty stuff. So I got down there, y'all. I'm still doing the work. But had I did and took heed and listened to the warning and did what I supposed to do, I wouldn't be going through this. But I thank God. Anywho, again, charity shout out goes to Pedro, which is my brother, for all the hard work that he does and all and everything is, I want you to know, brother, is not going undone. Charity shout out goes to my father for all the hard work that you have, all the blessings and the things that you have done for me is not going unrecognized. I want you to know I appreciate you, Martin, when you see this or if you do see this and if you don't, again, thank y'all so much for helping the little girls like me out. All right. Cheers. Anywho, anyhow, y'all. But so much was happening. When bad stuff is happening, always remember something good is always coming behind that. And so if you don't know, this is a book that I have. Something good. I have mentioned this before to you guys. Y'all get this because it is something good is trying to happen to you. This is a good book. And the author is named Major R. And he's a PhD. Um, let me let y'all know some of this. I'm going to read, okay, if y'all don't mind. Two positions. You are in one good positions and one positions in life. Either you are currently receiving generations of blessings from the faith of your ancestor, or you can be, or you can begin initiating generations of blessing for those who will follow you. Either way, your faith is important and it will be rewarded. Your every action, deed, and decision important to make your life better too. Did I just got to telling y'all? I'm just saying, y'all need to appreciate and let people know, Amen. How important. And thank them, okay? Appreciate people. I don't care what you think and what you felt, even if they help you a little bit. Amen. The Bible said a little, honey, it's the little vine. It's the little fox that destroys the vine. You got to tell a person they appreciate it while they yet live. Because when they gone, don't be, uh, 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 it's too late. Uh-uh, 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 because you could have got that right. That's saying I'm a guilt. That's guilt. Click, click, click on that. Yeah. Clean cheers. Something good is always trying to happen to you. Will you block the good or allow yourself to receive it? And a lot of times we don't know how to receive. Y'all, it's a good book. Recognizing a God, God sedent. You, you may ask if something good is always trying to happen to me. How can I know it? You can learn to recognize when God comes into your life. A God is a different from, it is different from an ordinary incident or a mere coincidence. Defining the differences. An incident is a minor event in which you perceive no particular meaning. A coincidence occurs when the two or more seemingly connected events happen in such a way that you sense meaning even if you can't define it. A God is an unexpected intervention by God. It is meant for your good. I want that one. Agree? Say amen. You can still believe something good is trying to happen to you when, even when you can't see God's hand. That's what I'm talking about. 
Baby, I didn't see God saying, I didn't know what to do, how to do it, when to do it. I just knew to call my brother. And I was crying. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, God has always got your back. Trust it. Avoiding what is trying to harm you. Even a new Christian, you, even a new Christian, you, I'm sorry, even as a new Christian, you have an old garbage monster dreading your past, dreading your past for sludge that can be thrown in your face. Ooh, ooh. Shady folks. As the eldest, as the oldest enemy of humanity, Satan will attack your mind with punishing thoughts and ungodly fantasies that threaten to choke off your new you, your newfound faith intent on doing whatever you can to discourage and defeat you with the negativity. Anytime such thoughts begin to creep in, turn them over to Jesus as soon as possible. I thank God for all of those who out there is fighting negativity. People talking about you. People making negative videos about you. People talking crazy and doing silly stuff. I'm going to read it again. That is for us. Anytime such thoughts begin to creep in, turn them over to Jesus as soon as possible. Y'all can't let that stuff. I, I'm going to stop. I'm going to do two more pages, y'all. And we're going to stop at uh, number seven. So I think I'm going to do a series of this. Okay, if y'all don't mind. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because this is a good book. You might be hesitating to do good or to receive good because you have done something bad. This is a good one. Let me read that again. You might be hesitating to do good or to receive good because you have done something bad or failed at it. Something in the past confess that old sin, confess that old sin or failure to Jesus and move boldly into God's future. God has prepared for you. If we confess, this is one of my favorite scriptures, y'all. If we confess our sins, we is faithful. He is faithful and just to forgive us from our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First John 1 and 9. Don't listen to your garbage monster. Don't listen to your past. Don't listen to that negative thought. Don't listen to that thing on the left side of that brain or people, negativity, bondages, hostages. Don't listen to that. Squish its ugly head back into the pile and tell it to shut its mouth, meaning rebuke the enemy. Y'all, when we're trying to do something or move forward, you're going to have all type of stuff come your way. Trust and believe that. You're going to have all type of stuff come your way. You can't believe it. You got to believe. That's why the Bible said, whose report would you believe? And, and I've said, I believe the report of the Lord. Amen. So I pray and hope, I'm telling you, always remember something good is trying to happen. And again, that book is called Something Good is Trying to Happen to You. The author name is Major John R. Shelder. Hold on, y'all. Shaderer. I'll put it in the um, description below. Y'all, let me read one more. Don't listen to anyone, even Christians. Don't try to keep you... Don't listen to Christians. Don't listen to anyone, even Christians who try to keep you down. They are they are your drag you down people. You might know who they are and you can tell, you can see them when they're coming. They minimize your success, making your major triumphs seem small and that the little notes of your life seems unimportant. Stay away from them as much as possible. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him and he should direct your path. That is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Of course, bad things can happen to good people. Yet, even then, God is able to change your outcome. Your outcomes from bad to good. I like this book, y'all. And I think I'm going to finish reading tonight. And then I'll read some more to y'all. So y'all remind, it is page 11 we stopped on. So again, y'all stay encouraged and be encouraged out there. Especially to my new YouTubers. Again, um, don't get discouraged. Keep going. Keep moving. You just got to know what you want to do on your channel. How to do it and to just do it. Habakkuk 3 said, write the vision and make it plain. You think I'm lying? Look at it. Habakkuk. Chapter 3, write the vision and play it plain. When God gives you something, I don't care who's trying to copy, who's trying to mock you. You don't let nobody take you from what you're supposed to be doing. He gave you that vision. I'm just saying, keep going, keep doing, keep going, keep doing. What? Keep going, keep doing. What? Keep going, keep doing. What? Keep going, keep doing. Let's keep doing. Y'all keep doing.
But it has been real nice, y'all, talking to y'all. But I got to go. My 29 minutes is up. So don't forget to check on somebody, anybody, or anyone. Don't forget to pray for, pray for somebody, anybody, anyone. Don't forget to uplift, strengthen, and give motivation. And always give hope for tomorrow. Until we meet again, y'all. It has been real nice, y'all. I thank y'all, my new subscribers. You're welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the notification button. So every time your girl go live, you will know it. All right, y'all. Good night, y'all. I got to go. I can't talk long, y'all. Good night, y'all. And I got to go. My minutes are up. Good night, y'all. And it's time to go. Do, 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 do. All right, y'all. Don't forget to pray for us. We pray for y'all. Bye-bye.